Well, good evening. This is Hound Dog Steve coming to you on the 6th of March. And uh, it is a chilly, chilly evening. The fire is going. And I have some more news to bring to you. Um, maybe a little light-hearted uh, to begin with anyways. Um, pot study gets down and dirty. Okay, uh, feds will test waste to judge consumption. So what the federal government is going to do is Statistics Canada will spend $600,000 a year for a contractor to regularly test waste water from 15 to 20 municipalities for traces of THC, the active ingredient in marijuana and other drugs. The survey could be the best way to collect precise data on the amount of pot Canadians consume, according to Anthony Peluso, an assistant director at Statistics Canada. Well, fancy that. That's just what we needed to know, the exact consumption of pot uh, in Canada. Uh, this one, next story. I love these kind of stories, don't you? Lion eats poacher. Lion poacher becomes dinner. A suspected poacher was reportedly eaten by a pride of lions, South African police say. The unidentified man's remains, a hunting rifle and ammunition, were found near a private game reserve near Kruger National Park over the weekend. It seems the victim was poaching in the game park when he was attacked and killed by lions. A Limpopo police spokesman said to agency France Press Monday, they ate his body, nearly all of it, and just left his head and some remains. According to the BBC, big cat poaching has been on the rise in Limpopo province in recent years. Last year, three lions were poisoned and found with their paws and head severed. So, good for you lions. Start fighting back. This is a real issue. This is, oops, sorry about that. This is the Oxfam issue. Okay, uh, the sex scandal hurting Oxfam. Uh, Oxfam was recently found uh, that its workers had been using food as a method to pay for sex with people after disasters. And it wasn't just Haiti, there was a, also um, a stories of this coming out of Chad a few years back. And uh, anyway, uh, they have had all their funding cut off from Britain. And uh, I suspect other countries will be doing exactly the same thing. Uh, this, of course, is absolutely outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Uh, you know, when you're in a position of trust like that and you have power and control over people. Um, yes, this is not good at all. And it makes you wonder, you know, if they've only just caught it. I mean, Oxfam is everywhere in the world. And, of course, in situations like this, there are always orphan children, uh, people separated from their parents, uh, no adult supervision. Uh, it is just an abominable situation and, and a testimony to what people will do to other people. This I uh, thought was kind of interesting. A supporter of homophobic, uh, anti-Semitic U.S. religious leader to speak at NDP convention. An American political activist who publicly supports uh, the U.S. Uh, religious leader known for his homophobic and anti-Semitic rhetoric is among keynote speakers at a New Democratic's biennial convention this weekend in Ottawa. Tamika Mallory, one of the organizers of last year's Women's March on Washington that took place immediately after Donald Trump was inaugurated as president, will address the NDP delegates this Friday afternoon. Uh, well, one wonders how low you can sink um, and what direction is the NDP going when you have this kind of speaker allowed to speak uh, you know you talk about white supremacists and hate speech I mean this this is uh, just the opposite isn't it in the other direction I thought this was a kind of interesting story and it's not what you might first uh, assume when you see uh, this uh, the headline there white blackish need not apply Okay, so only racially visible wanted for University Post. This is Dalhousie University in Halifax, and they have a person who is retiring. Uh, the incumbent vice provost of student affairs at Dalhousie, Arig Al Shaiba, um, is uh, is leaving, and they need a replacement. So this is not about men. No, no white men need apply. This is no white women need apply, and they're going to judge you purely and simply 
on the colour of your skin. Yes, you, if you, and it says it, and if you're black, you'd better be visibly black and not too light skinned. One presumes by the university's rash, racially visible yardstick. I mean, you know, you, you wouldn't have want to have someone who, you know, really doesn't look all that indigenous, would you now? But again, this is the absolute insanity that is happening in our world today, uh, where we can't make the divisions thin enough. And who decides? Who decides who who makes these decisions? Where are these lines drawn? Um, I can tell you this is going to get crazier and crazier and crazier until I guess we ultimately all become groups of one. How about that? Anyway, listen, my last story, uh, quite important and quite interesting, is the Italian election. And I'm going to pop over to the screen to do this one. And then I'm going to come back to say cheerio. OK, so this is the Italian elections that happened over the weekend. And um, Italy yesterday went to the polls to choose over 900 members of its two houses of parliament. Former Prime Ministers Sir Silvio Berlusconi and Matteo Renzi were the big losers as voters opted for anti-establishment parties. And this is the big, big, big story. Uh, Five Star Movement. OK, this is a separatist party. Uh, so the Five Star Party uh, got 32% of the vote. This is a plus 6% Democratic Party and uh, Forza Italy, this is Berlusconi's party, they're the big losers, uh, minus 6% and minus 7%. Okay, so um, Lega and uh, Fratelli d'Italia and uh, Free and Equal, uh, these are also... Um, populist parties, nationalist parties. Okay, so the Five Star Movement will have no problem forming a government to rule Italy. Okay, and none of these parties can come together and um, without this party to form a ruling group because to, to have form a coalition between all of these would be incredibly difficult. Despite their protestations, the Five Star Movement did well, even in the first past the post seats, uh, which are new to this election. As the second force in Parliament, they could be instrumental in the formation of a government, but to do that, they need to set aside their anti politics stance to do some deals. So here we have Populist and Far Right Five Star Movement and the League. Um, populist Right Wing Far Right. Uh, Five Star and uh, Forza Italy, the League. The League is the uh, Lega Party. Until recently, Lega was, uh, by design, a strictly regional force. A strong nationwide vote made it unexpectedly the senior partner in the right-wing coalition, strengthening Salvini's hand in government negotiations. So, uh, what we're seeing, basically, all over the world right now, is a repudiation of globalism. Uh, trust me, this is going to shake Europe because remember Marine Le Pen uh, only just lost that election in France by a very small percentage uh, uh, number and um, th this is an indication that uh, there is still a lot of people who are populist and nationalist in France, Germany and in, um, in now in Italy. Okay, And it's all over immigration. Okay, these countries are being swamped by illegal immigrants. One of the things that all of the parties, all of the right-wing parties have promised to do is to deport 100,000 illegal immigrants. Um, you know, I, I don't have any problem with immigrants, but the unrestricted number of immigrants is enough to topple a country. You know, it's like having a boat. It's like having a lifeboat. Uh, you know, you can only get so many people in that boat before she tips over and everyone drowns. OK, so this is becoming obviously a big concern to the populations of these countries. And I think you're going to see it play a larger and larger part in the future. Well, I hope you found these little tidbits interesting. And uh, if you did, uh, please click the like and subscribe and uh, join me for more conversations. Uh, leave a comment. I love to hear your comments. They are getting more and more. Uh, I answer as many as I can and uh, because I do want to encourage the conversation with all of us. This really is the only way we're going to solve our problems. 
You take care, you have yourself a great week, and we will talk real soon. See you now.